on the shelf The reading has been done Now I'm looking for myself Just like everybody else I'm casting out a line I'm fishing in the past I'm reeling in a time That went by me way too fast Coming in live from SCCC, and we're here with Dusty Terwilliger. How are you tonight? That's Terwilliger. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you? Fine. That's good. Um, is communications your major here? Yes, it is. And how did you decide that you first wanted to come into communications? Um, I don't know. I kind of narrowed down. I, I didn't really have an interest in anything else, and I figured uh, communications would be good for me. How long it will take, lifelong it will seem. It's hard to keep yourself away when you're tracking down a dream. So tell it to the wind and tell it to the sun. Hi, my name is Tony Becker. I'm here today to help you get started trout fishing in Sussex County. I've fished in Sussex County now for about 16 years. I've pretty much learned most of the good spots I need to know around this area. Uh, the big rivers I've fished have been the Pawnskill, the Wallkill, the Flatbrook, the Pequest. Uh, there are also numerous other little brooks around here that get stocked with trout that are good to fish. Um, today we will be at the Pawnskill. I'm going to go over proper equipment, proper techniques, good spots to fish. And uh, before you get started, you might want to go to your local sporting goods store and pick up a pamphlet on rules and regulations. And now we'll move on to proper equipment. Now I'm going to show you proper equipment. First, and most important, you're going to need a fishing license and trout stamp. This year it costs a total of $33.50. Next, you're going to want to set yourself up with a proper rod and reel to fit yourself. An ultralight rod and an ultralight reel set up with four pound test line is my choice for the best bite. Next, you're going to want to get something to hold your tackle in. I chose a vest. I can keep everything right in front of me. It's easy to grab. I don't have to get in and out of the water. Other fishermen choose a creel, which they keep on their side. It's your choice. Next, you're, I set myself up with a pair of chest waders. I can get into the deepest parts of the water. There's hard to reach spots up to my chest. Next, I keep the fishing net at my back. When I catch the trout, I don't have to worry about losing them. I got the net right there. Now we're going to look for a good spot to fish. Basically, you want to look for an area, like a shaded area, under a tree branch, under a log, fast water. When the fast water comes down, it starts to settle a little bit. Spots like that, deep holes. So, let's go. This here looks like a good spot to fish. There's a down tree, a lot of cover, good places for trout to hide underneath. So let's give it a shot. Now I'm going to set up my line to fish with bait. First thing I'm going to do is attach a number 8 bait holder hook to my line. There's a little hole right in the top of the hook here that you want to run your line through. After that, you're going to take, your, take the line around and make a loop with your finger in the middle. Take it to the line to the top of the line, wrap it around five or seven times, then run it back down through the hole that your finger's in. You're going to want to pull it down a little tight and then grab the bottom of the hook with the main part of your line and pull down. It tightens right up. Then you're going to want to cut off the excess slack, just leave a little piece hanging out so it doesn't spook the fish. Next, you're going to want to take a sinker. Depending on how fast the water is moving, you're going to, that's how you're going to decide what size sinker you want to use. The one I use, you can open and close and remove. You don't have to keep on breaking your line. You can change different sizes as needed. This is about a medium size that I use for this water's 
not that fast, it's not that slow. This should work perfect. Put it in your mouth, bite it open, put it on the line, bite down, ready to go. Now you're gonna to wanna to use some bait. Uh, it's the beginning of the season. Normally they throw in they throw brook trout in, in the beginning, then they'll go to the rainbow trout. The last stockings I've heard was mostly rainbow trout, so that with rainbow trout you're gonna to wanna to use colorful bait. So I'm gonna choose power bait. I have a can of yellow power bait. You gotta you take basically you stick your finger in there, you pull out a, a glob of it, you're gonna wanna roll it into a ball. For your so it fits right on your hook. Just throw it on the hook like that. You're ready to fish. Now I'm gonna show you basic casting techniques. This is your basic spinning reel. What you're going to want to do is grab this part right here with your index finger and pull the line up to the rod. So you're going to hold, you're going to, the positioning will look like this. The line here behind your finger. Then you're going to open the bail. So this will, this will keep it so when you cast, all the line releases out. If you don't open this, you ain't casting nowhere. Then, your first cast, people learn right away is your basic over over the shoulder cast. You should just bring the pole back like this. Just let it go. Next cast you're gonna to want to do is a sidearm cast. Once you get a hang of the over the shoulder cast, the sidearm cast is for the little more advanced. Just bring it back, swing from your side like so. Now for the really advanced fishermen, sometimes you can get there's some spots where you want to really try and get underneath. There might be a lot of branches in your way. I found that if you just bring your pole back like this, start swinging the bait, just give a little flip, you can get right in those little holes. My boats are on the shelf. The reading has been done Now I'm looking for myself Just like everybody else I'm casting out a line I'm fishing in the past And it was communication is the only thing you're looking towards right now? Uh, I think that's pretty much it right now um, Yeah, that's pretty much it so come on, you don't live that long Sing your song, sing your song long it will take, lifelong it will seem, it's hard to keep yourself awake when you're tracking down a dream, so tell it to the wind, and tell it to the sea, then ask them where they each have been. And they'll tell you where you'll be So come on You don't live that long, baby Sing your song Sing your song Sing it
cabin And they'll tell you where you'll be And they'll tell you where you'll be Coming in from Sussex County Community College tonight with Dustin Earl Terwilliger. How are you tonight, Dusty? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Um, communications is your major here at Sussex? Yes, it is. Uh, do you plan to travel further with that major? Uh, yeah, I plan to go to some other school after college here, but I'm not sure where yet. How are you enjoying the class so far here? So far it's alright. That's good. Um, is there something that made you pick this field or did it just all of a sudden come to you? Uh, I uh, found out that I didn't really like anything else but this, so that's why I'm here. Okay, well I guess that's about it. Thank you for your time, Dusty.